everyone we decided to make a big change in our lives we ordered a nectar mattress for the first time it's the first time we've ever ordered a mattress to be shipped to our home from a website normally we go like in store to do it but this time we decided to go with an online order we also bought a bed frame as well we've never had a headboard before so this is the headboard then this box up here says waterproof quilted mattress protector and has the nectar logo on it this came separately this came separately this also came today and we're not 100 percent sure what it is but it says nectar on it the interesting part was this came today and it came from a different shipping company than the other one did so we're gonna open this and see what this is he pushed that way down before he did that too by the way like way way down so what is this made in usa 100 percent cotton <gasps> is this the sheets is this the sheets that come with it i believe so <gasps> sweet Today is delivery day of our mattress and I am so super excited. The mattress is here and this is how it arrived. We're gonna start doing our unboxing of the mattress parts. First, we've gotta do a bed frame. <laughs> yeah, I kind of took the bed frame out. That came down. All right. There's the headboard. It's a little bit darker than I thought it was gonna be. Everything's inside it? Apparently. All parts, All parts are located, located inside, inside the zipper silver. pocket. <laughs> now I see that. Let's open her up. Oh, wow. All right. This says legs and hardware inside. All right, there we go. I would say this is the footboard. When we bought the bed, could you buy it without the headboard? Because like now I'm trying to picture how they ship it if you don't order a headboard or was it like all one thing? It had an option for just a foundation, but I am not sure how that would work. <laughs> all those pieces would just lean up against the wall. Now it has to be moved so we can put the headboard there. Well, first, I'm going to find instructions, I hope. What? Instructions? That is hardware. What are you doing? It's a leg up. My word. Instructions. Important. Read the instructions carefully and retain for future reference. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, that is not how this works. Lay headboard down on soft, clean surface. Unzip back. Remove, oh, we already blew that. <laughs> um, remove all far. Well, they shouldn't have put the instructions in the headboard. I mean, technically, it's a soft-ish surface. It's the old box springs that we're taking out of here, which actually aren't that old. They only got them like three years ago, but they were cheap, so they broke. Actually, they weren't cheap. They just broke. Ooh. Ah. Yeah, this lays together just like our friend's bed did. I'm pretty sure she said she got it from Ikea. I could be wrong. Maybe she got it from the same people. Because it looks like this exact same layout as hers was. Alright. Now we get to put all this together. Is it wood? No, it's plastic. It's hollow. It looks like wood. Alright. First step is we attach the legs to the head and footboard. Really, more puns? You hold up the feet and go first step? That wasn't even intended. So these, we'll screw in. Maybe. It's just a long piece. piece. I also didn't know it was going to come with a footboard. Ooh, that's soft. One down, one to go. So pretty. We have our sideboards laid out with the legs that will attach them together. Now, according to the instructions, lay side rails C1, C2, end to end, then bolt together with leg E, which is the piece that is laying on either side there. And for this, we're going to need the bolts in J, O, and we're going to need L to put them together. All right.
we're going to get these to where they just have a little bit of bite. And we're going to make sure we can line up all four of our screws first. And then, I'm not going to tighten it too tight right now. So this isn't like super complicated to put together. And it's not very difficult at all to put together. On a scale of one to kids tr uh, trundle bunk bed. <laughs> On a scale from one to trundle bunk bed, this is probably as difficult as your average buy in a box bookcase. So I say on a scale of one to trundle bunk bed because it was like, oh, look at all this hardware stuff that you put it together with. No, we ended up putting it together with power tools because it was a nightmare to put together and it was supposed to be something super easy like this. This is so much easier than putting that kid's trundle bunk bed together so far. It's much, much easier. <laughs> well, that part's done. What's next? Next, we attach the headboard and the footboard to the side rail. I think the way I want to do this is because they're hooks and not holes what well, we should be able to get them on most of the way but leave enough room for the bracket to slide on it and i believe that's going to be our best way to do this i can come closer but i'm trying not to get in his line of view as i rest it on his head now i'll use m yep we use the allen wrench that should be tight enough on this side let's move to the other side discovered that this is longer than our other bed was which to me is not a problem I thought our other bed was a little bit shorter but I am curious if the new mattress is slightly longer than our other one was what you working on there is glue in this hole that's an easy fix for you though right yeah so what do you do if there's glue in the hole well, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to carefully without damaging the threads break it loose so Matt works in construction so he knows how to do this don't try this at home there. Step five is bolt center legs to both slat supports. Would those be okay, those? That would be those. I think I pull right here if I can grab it. Ta-da! I did it. These are the slat support legs. There are four of those. They go there, 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 and there. That's it. That's it for the box. This is not only just a strap holding them together. I've also noticed that during the assembly process, on the inside, this is Velcroed. Is it? Yep. That is. Huh. So there's a hole here, hole here. Oh, okay. I thought it would attach to the bed. You attach it to this first, then it attaches to the bed. Yep. Gotcha. So That's where I was confused. At this point, we need the instructions. We need bolt. K. Packet K. K. K are long, which means that it's going to go all the way through. We are also going to need P's. We pee on this part. Really? What? <sighs> P or adjuster feet. K or our bolt. Okay. So, there's a little metal piece on each end. So, I don't reckon it matters which way we put these. I mean, the instructions also don't specify. This particular board isn't special in any way. So, it's going to go just like that. Don't tell it that. You're going to hurt its feelings. I think my easiest way to do this will be to just turn it like this. And I'm going to need L. Got my leg lined up. That was my lefty Lucy righty tighty confusion there for a second. But you are a lefty Lucy. I am a lefty Lucy. How do you forget that? You are a lefty Lucy. You know, I have heard that phrase my entire life. And you and your mom are lefty Lucy's. Next leg. Is it wooden? Yes. Now we're going to put these little feet on. Now what these do is allows you to level the bed out if you need to. If you have a big lump in the middle, it's probably these. For now, I'm going to actually tighten them all the way down until we get it flipped over and see what it feels like. We are going to put this in the back on the Velcro. With my stunt camera person. <laughs> Say hi, stunt camera person. Hi. <laughs> Um, hey. Um, okay, there. So you know how it was sticking out just ever so slightly? Uh-huh. It won't once these are on. Here it is. Bed of your dreams. This is actually not just the mattress. Whenever we ordered, we got not only the mattress, but we also got sheets, 
by one of Nectar's subsidiary companies called 1771. We also have the mattress protector and two pillows. In here is Check that out. Pillow one. My guess, pillow two is on the bottom. Actually, pillow two is on the side. There it is. And these feel like they're probably vacuum sealed as well. So they will probably poof, poof. as well. Found this little packet here. So in here, I see a little slitter tool. That's very important. Because? Because if you use a utility knife, you might hurt your mattress. You don't want to hurt your mattress. Yeah, let's not hurt the mattress. So. So we're gonna read the instructions before opening the Right here, this says, let's get you ready to sleep. This is probably our instructions, maybe? That or maybe. a bedtime story. Nope. 50-50. It has the instructions here. So, <laughs> and they expand. So it says, uh, locate cutter. If you have not located your cutter yet, you're already too late because it was in with the instructions. <laughs> but it says, locate the cutter and cut outer plastic. Well, first you're gonna have to get out of the box. You're gonna have to come out of the box now. There's two ways we can do this. We can split the seam which sounds like a lot more work than I feel like doing. And, or, risk, mat and risk cutting the mattress. We can just push it over. <laughs> this is the bottom of the box. It says full. Did you read it? <laughs> and whenever I flip the box, I'm on one of the flaps. Hey, Rebecca, dad wants to see you. you now, st be in a box. now stand right here and hold still. Hi. Can you see her? Hold on. Hold on. Whoa. <laughs> Can't Hi. see anything. It's Hi, out. Rebecca. I think that's an eye. <laughs> All right. Take your new box. It has clouds on it. Yay! Now we're gonna play with the mattress. Yuppie. It's interesting how they got it in there. So I forgot a step. These here are supposed to hold your slats in place and I forgot to put them in. So they go here. I guess that means you're slatting on the job. Oh, come on. So these are actually wood screws. They actually will bite down. This is the only tool that is not provided, which is a screwdriver, so. I did have to get a handy dandy screwdriver out of the office. Is this where we need the seamy thing? Yes, this is where we need this. The nectar letter opener. I actually was just gonna say, and when we're done, mommy has a new letter opener. So this is tape. I can hear it. Do you hear it? Yep. Oh. Nope, oh, that's not a good place to air out. Do you need me? All right.
Oh, it has to go this way. I would assume because that's the label. Here we go. That's how much it's already aired out. That was flat like a second ago. Not literally, but I mean, you can still hear it shifting. Not bad. Now it'll inflate. Wait for it to finish inflating, then put the cover on it? Yep. Look at the way it looks so far, though. That is nice. I almost don't want to put the cedar chest back in front of it. It's a pillow. Mm-hmm. I'm going to open a pillow. I didn't do anything. <laughs> There's a pillow, and it's a pillow. Let's look at the mattress protector. Hat. There. That's not how that works. That's not how any of this. That mattress is now protected. Oh my word. Okay. Doo, doo, doo. That it goes both ways. That, that is a cute little bag. Those are, chiclets. those are not chiclets. Do not tell, do not eat those people. What people? Oh my word. Quilted. All right. And striped. Do we put it on now or do we wait for the mattress to inflate? We are going to wait for the mattress to inflate. Ah. It's not a zip on like the last one was. So the mattress protector that we got with it for free with the deal that they had going is a surface mattress protector and fits on like a fitted sheet. Which means we'll never be able to fold this up again. Yeah. Which means this is how it looks forever. There it is, people. Forever. But it's not like just a plastic protector, it's quilted. It's, it's quilted. actually got a layer to it. And it's waterproof and will protect our mattress. And be comfy. And be comfy. Because comfy is important. Because comfy is important. So it has been 24 hours. Our mattress has inflated and we are ready to put sheets and stuff on it. And actually make it a bed. These are the sheets that we got with it. Pillowcase, pillowcase. Fitted sheet, maybe? I'm pretty sure. Yes, fitted sheet. She'll never be folded like that again. For now, we're gonna take these. So we've got our mattress protector on. Quilted mattress protector. Yes. I love that it's quilted. And here are the sheets. <sighs> what? <laughs> this is so comfy. I didn't like have to put my knee on the mattress to get in the bed. <laughs> I just was able to get in the bed. What, I'm short. <laughs> you know what we get to do now, right? What's up? What'd you think of the whole process? Ordering, assembly, everything? It all went pretty smooth. <laughs> I could seriously like fall asleep right now. So I'm really happy with it. I think we'll probably do a review, what, in about a month? Yeah. See about 30 days, see, you know, what we think of it and how it helps us overall. Right now I'm like, <laughs> I'm actually seriously trying not to fall asleep. But hey, we assembled this thing in our pajamas, so I mean that just took a step out, right? Mm -hmm. I'm, I was super excited about this. It was our first time ordering a mattress online, having it delivered, and I'm just really excited to see how well it does. I'm also happy to have our first headboard ever. It's the first time we've had a house big enough to have a headboard. But that's it for us. Thanks for watching, and we will see you next time.